Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. So red and white, of course, the preeminent colours at Old Trafford, which is now officially the largest club football ground in England. Its capacity 75,000 and growing. game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well, on the face of it peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest we go then who do you think this turns on Jim yeah Coutinho he's a, a real magician with a wand of a right foot his control is is brilliant and he can pick out a through pass with the very best in the world he's also scored plenty of long-range efforts in his time too so defenses will need to be sure not shapes to shoot oh just lacked a decent finish And they've been caught out here. Alex Tellez. Manchester United couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. And it's Coutinho. Right through the middle. He's had a shot! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Barcelona are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Lindelof. Van der Beek. Matic. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Now it's Dembele. Hoist it forward. Dembele. Looking to get on the end of this. He's had a go! And yes, it's there! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. His second of the game 
And an eye now for the hat trick. Barcelona take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now, the only doubt is how many is coming. Rashford. Alex Tellez. Van der Beek. Van der Beek! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. He's got for it! A real chance and a real let-off. Manchester United are looking quite mean on the counter and combating that requires even more meanness. through here it's it's the belly ball's loose and he's after it Chooses to go back. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. It'll be a throw in. Got the ball glued to his feet. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. Tries to get it clear. Battles to win it back. Has a hit! Yes! And they are pulling clear here. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved to. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Pique drives it forward. Well weighted. Coutinho. A chance to play it in. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Maguire cuts it out. Across the field it goes. Lindelof. Alex Tellez. Rashford. Going through, 
Can he find a finish now? Longley. Jordi Alba. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Van der Beek. And here's Rashford. Oh, that's a waste. And that'll be a goal kick. And the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed. Barcelona are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka, a, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. Bruno Fernandes has a hit! Just too high. Well, the defence are in a good position to get behind the ball and, and let them just try from range. Into the channel. Dembele gets into some space. Now it's Messi. And the shot! And he should have made it four. And the whistle goes for half time. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Second half gets on the way. Manchester United can show their manager and their fans how much grit and spirit is actually in this team. The right characters can rescue a situation like this. I think we're about to discover if they're pre Real chance! <laughs> Hard part right, but the rest wrong. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks a harder thing to do. Messi has made his impact already. Forward it goes. Forward offside that time. Alex Tellez. David De Gea. Maguire, and it's played forward, that's the throw, Alex Tellez, and it's Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes goes looking. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Tries to get it forward quickly. He gets past his man.
it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. He's got options out wide. Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Rashford with the crossfield ball. Out of play for a goal kick. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Now it's Cavani. And it's Messi. Philippe Coutinho. Messi. Out to the right. Alex Tellez plays it forward. Rashford. And here's the chance to counter. And he's going long. Pumps it into the area. Maguire gets it away. Coutinho. Messi, big chance! And here's Dembele. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, real danger here. Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. And that's going to be a booking. And the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Put it away. A cool head was needed there, and we got anything but. Coutinho with the short one. Can he deliver? Great leap! on cue but fluffed his line there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Lindelof goes looking. Alex Tellez. 
And it's Rashford. Now it's Cavani. Mata. Just brushed off the ball there. Forward it goes. He's found his man. And he's away. He's looked long this time. That's offside. Yes, it is. There's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side. Uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Maguire. Alex Tellez. And it's Rashford. Juan Mata. Rashford. David De Gea. Maguire. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Alex Tellez. Rashford. And that will be the final act. Manchester United well beaten. There's no spinning this result, it could have been a whole lot worse. But what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, look, it was very one-sided. Their players didn't turn up for the first half, and, and then it all went downhill. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. <laughs>